All right, let's see. Are we ready? <coughs> Yay! Do you want to do it, bro? Sure. Hello, everyone. Hey. This is Noy. Hey. We are Dimes. What's up? Hi. And this is the first episode of the Dimecast. This is the, the very first, and so uh, it's so good to have you here, bro. Yeah, thank you for um, letting me be part of the <laughs> first one. <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, <coughs> welcome to the podcast, man. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving all the little, the decor. Yeah. It's set in the mood. Do you like the uh, two-pack shrine? Yo, that's a, that's a good shrine there, man. You got to praise him every day. <laughs> every day? Every <laughs> day. <Every. laughs> yeah, is there shine. like a, is there like a... <laughs> I think it's like, the, uh, no, he's, he's a blood, right? Is he a blood? Oh, uh, no, crip? No, I think he's, he's one of the guys. He's from Miami, New York. That's where he's oh, from. Oh, yeah, right, 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 of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My bad. So he's mixed. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's mixed, yeah but so no, what have you been up to? <clears throat> uh, not much, man. Just chilling. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Cheers. cheers. Not cheers, much man. at all. Nice. That's it, guys. Nah. Just finished your shot. Um. So did your shot training. Yeah. Um. For the last six weeks, and then we had the competition <clears throat> over the weekend. You, you were a cool. you were a teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I taught. Uh, um. Probably about eighteen people how to DJ over six weeks wow. so I had three classes um, wow. pretty good it's pretty rewarding and everything it's pretty fun and then yeah on the weekend they have like a competition and they all play a 25 minute set and battle it out and then the winner it's crazy out. didn't have any winners but you know what it ain't about winning the competition it's about longevity exactly right but, of course Bro, you, can, you can take it Dude, yeah, but it's, it's a random number from Sydney so I ain't answering that <laughs> Um, but yeah, back on, back on your shot, man. How long have you been doing your shot for? I've uh, been doing it for three years, man. Um, yeah, oh. yeah. Dippy Kane got me into it a couple of years ago, and um, it's been epic, man. It's like the best thing ever. Like it's people kind of give it a bad name because like, oh, it's just really like, <clears throat> you know, just twenty five minute sets, all fake DJing and everything. But it's like it's more just how to get a step into the um, like industry. the industry and stuff. Like if you don't if you don't know, like if you don't know anyone, you don't know like anything about music, but you want to do it. It's like, where do you even start? And this is a perfect way to start. So, yeah. yeah, and I think, um, <clears throat> what was um, your mate that came in and he was talking about... Oh, Cody. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was, I was just saying, yeah, it's, as what you said, like, it was a perfect opportunity to, like, mingle with, like, probably 100%. some of the best oh. in Brisbane. You know? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's what I said to him. I was like, just, just talk to everyone. Meet yeah. everyone you can. Um, everyone, like, everyone goes there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. goes. That's like, it's it's perfect for networking. Even like, some of the guys that DJed, like, they even, by the end of it, found that they just didn't want to do that. They wanted to do, like, events or they mm. wanted to get into, like, the tech side and everything. But it's just like, you meet, like, you have 100 people there plus all their friends. So it's like, Two, three thousand people on one day, and it goes for two days. So you meet like four, five thousand people in one place. <laughs> and you can just like you meet so many different types mm. of people and everything yeah. like that. So yeah. yeah, it's awesome, man. It's such a rewarding thing. Like I love doing it. Like I, I hope I, d I get to do it again next year. So. Oh, I, I definitely, I definitely think you will. Because like um, I think a lot, a lot of guys that I talked to that were like you taught, they were like, oh, it's it was like super exciting for them because yeah, obviously yeah, you've yeah. been around for like. How long? Like nine? 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Come on. No. <laughs> He's a vampire. No, um, ages. I've, been, I've been doing this for 12 years. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. See, that, that's longevity that's time. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. double me. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, it's double I'm, an old, me. I feel like I'm an old man. And so, yeah. like, well, uh, what about, like, when did you start touring? Oh, touring only happened, like, probably, like, three, four years ago. Okay, so, so before, before that, it was kind of like, I just DJ because I loved it. So I was just playing house parties and playing at clubs. And it was just like, I was doing like, probably like five or six gigs a week. And it was just like my income. That was my work. True. And then while I was studying and stuff like that. And then um, basically got, got management and everything uh, last couple of years and just kind of shut up from there. So yeah, I think I briefly like talked to this, talk to you about this, but like, what was your favorite party that you got to play play at that probably doesn't even exist now. Party, oh, like, like party like or club like events, night or events or because like I played a lot of parties and they were wild. Like a lot of lots of like rich kids and like mm. having like parties at their mansions and everything. Oh, like that was wild. Yeah. Like you have like a full tennis court the of OG people. School party, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Loose. You have like a full tennis court <laughs> like, full pro of people. Project, yeah. and project X. Party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Project Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> Dad joke. I'm old. I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> but um. Favorite party, man. Um, trash bags was always awesome. Like that was awesome. Like um, that was always. Uh, yeah, awesome. I, got to, I only I'm, got to experience yeah. one of them. And I never got that. Yeah, it was yeah. life changing. That was like just. And I didn't even get to do it at Mono. I had to do it oh, at TBC. Really? 
So I didn't even get the. Nah, nah, it was still good at TVC. Nah, like, at TVC it was still dope, but like, I heard mono days were loose. Yeah, mono was kind of like what shaped me to be who I am and everything. Mm. Lots of ups and downs, many downs, many ups. (laughs) I guess, I guess for like maybe for people who are like listening, can you explain like the vibe that you got from Trash Bags? Trash Bags was just like a place to just like get amongst it. Like it was just like heavy thrash trash. Electro, right, yeah. um, like some people would call it like mid tempo. Like a lot of mid tempo stuff back then wasn't called mid tempo, but we called it just electro back then. But yeah. like you know, like cyberpunkers and stuff, they were making a lot of. Stuff. Oh. And was it danger and stuff G-tronic. like that? Yeah, G Tronic yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Wow. So it was just like heavy, heavy music mm. that you just like basically in like a dark, dark small room, and <laughs> everyone would just get absolutely trashed, and you would like a trash bag essentially. Yeah. And <laughs> it was just wild. Yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> very, very, very epic. But um, <laughs> that was like a couple of years into DJing. So that's insane. Yeah. So you reckon that was like probably your favorite club to play at in that era, or is that like Monastery? all together? Or trash or, bags? Or in, or in, that, in that in that era? Come on, like look, he's been around for twelve years. <laughs> I've been through a couple years. of eras. Yeah, look, yeah, look, like, I ain't gonna lie because some people like think I've been a trap lord since I started. Yeah, like, nah. man, like, like there was no trap when I started. <laughs> yeah, Have you yeah. seen yeah. his hair I, <laughs> back in the day? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't gonna, no one's gonna get a photo of that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll dive deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll dive. Yeah, we'll we'll get, we'll we'll get, get, yeah. we got we got that on now. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, uh, oh yeah, like, like Do you reckon that was your favourite club that you've played at? Yeah, Monastery was not only a club, it was just like a, it was like a family. Like I made lifelong friends that I'm still friends with now. Yeah. Um, everyone was passionate about the music, all the staff there, DJs and everything. We were like a team. Like everything was just like all about the music. Mm. Like to get in, you had to be dressed, like dressed to impress. Like everyone was just wearing weird shit. Mm. This was when like fluoro was big. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah, like yeah. everyone was wearing fluoro and yeah. like I was wearing like super, super skinny jeans. I wear skinny jeans now, but they yeah. were like tight. tight like, they yeah. were like girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But um, that was that was wild, man. Like that was a epic, epic, epic time because you just like it was it was all about music and like mm. community and everything like that. And then when that kind of ended, like it kind of disbanded a bit. But um, mm. it was epic. Like it was definitely um shaped a lot. And the first year I went there, I wasn't DJing. I just kind of I used to go there and just talk to all the DJs. And then I just kept giving them CDs. Yeah, I had to give them CDs. What? <laughs> CD Dude, this is how old I am. I used to get promos <laughs> sent to me on CD. So you get a CD in the mail and it's like five tracks on there. It's like, you know, original mix. Dude, that, I would mix love that yeah. now. No, because then you have like, a CD wallet and then like you lose a CD. Well, you know, these days you lose a USB. Yeah. Oh. And then you're like, oh, re-upload. You, use, you, you lose a CD wallet. That's like a hundred CDs gone. You're like, I have to re-burn everything. Wow. I, I miss the whole CD era. No, so I'm yeah. very happy. I, um, I never got to experience it. Like I sort of just came in straight into the USB. Like yeah. I think yeah. I, I learned on the 850. So that's probably my as hard as it ever going to get for me. I like, learned yeah. on the 100. Well, yeah, see, like, like, so I was like, <laughs> 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 I've always seen. Yeah, everything. it was like it was like you have like the, the, the like the, all the effects were like on the wheel, and and the, and the worst thing was every party I went to can you scratch the 100s don't scratch and it was just like oh my god that's oh, all everyone wanted to do they go this and like, it's not scratching mm. i'm like because it's not vinyl just, <laughs> just leave, leave me, me alone. alone did you learn vinyl <laughs> no i didn't learn vinyl my brother uh, i used to buy him vinyl and he kind of he's the one who got me into it mm. and um when i when i ran it how i got into it was he just took me around to his place on my birthday was like check this out and i'm like yo this is sick and then <laughs> he was on vinyl and everything like that and then i just said i need to get decks straight away yeah. so i bought the cheapest setup 100s yeah and yeah <laughs> dude i feel like if you could play on 100s you could play on anything eh? like, dude like that thing like the bpm like thing that like goes up by like one so like you can't even see the bpm <laughs> and like you can never get a perfect bpm match or anything like that constantly like, mixing. it's constantly mm. yeah out and but that was like a thing you like you just constantly kind of like jog it and yeah, like, yeah. like Play with I, it. I never beat match like my beat matching sucked for like two years mm. like it sucked real uh, bad. like uh so so um with learning on like those type of cdjs was it like so important for you to mix with your ear yeah well so, like, well that's like that's kind of like uh i think is, is really important using your ear because like um like I've done music since grade two, so I kind of had like a bit of a musical background in my life. But um, yeah, using your ear is epic. Like I even do that in your shot. Like I, I let them use the screen because if technology is there, use the technology. But then at the same time, once they've picked it up, I'm like, yo, like 
yes. cover the screen up, start using your ear. Because mm. if you find it easy now, then do that because you might play on these, but then when you sometimes you go to a gig and the, the setup is like <laughs> really, really bad and you're yeah. like and they're like, What do I do mm. now? And you're like you can just use your ears, you yeah, know. Like exactly. I'm sure you guys would have seen your face. Oh, I, 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 yeah, we we miss. We weren't that late that we got the two thousands where it beep matches for you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Sync? Literally, but, yeah, 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 but, yeah. But so like we we still experienced the whole mixing with your ears. Yeah. I started on Serato actually, but I, 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 I got rid of I, that. I, I really hated it. I can't I, use I that. Couldn't. Couldn't. I can't I got, use oh, well, I had a controller at home, so oh, that, yeah. I had to use yeah, it. So yeah, then I was used to it. But the very first set I went to play. My computer fucked up. So <laughs> I had to. I had backup USB, so I had to just teach myself while I was playing. And yeah, I think yeah, I played yeah. like a three-hour set for my first set is on USB. Man, three-hour sets. No, three-hour three oh, sets were like normal. Like when yeah, I started, no. that was like the norm. Like it was like, yo, you play nine to twelve, and it's like you just play like chill stuff. Mm. My very first residency at GPO, I used to play eight to nine on Thursdays, and they actually had the room blocked off. So you know how a GPO is like a nightclub room and a lounge room. Mm -hmm. That they'd put you in the nightclub room to play, but they'd block it off and your music would go through to the lounge room. So basically friends, <laughs> oh. friends that would, I'd play eight to nine for like a whole year flat. And my mates would be like, yeah, I'll come watch you. And I'm like, well, you can't actually see me DJ, but you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they would literally come and then like, I'd play for an hour and then I'd open the door and I'd be like, Hey, I'm done now. <laughs> yeah. So did you like yeah, it? So, yeah. Yeah. Did you like what I sounded like? Yeah, from, yeah. um, from like, from trash bags to, I guess, to like Biscuit Factory now, which obviously you're you are still are. I mean, we all are residents at that. At I would Biscuit say Factory. Biscuit Factory is like the new Trash Bags. Mm -hmm. If you could compare mm -hmm. it in a new age, 100%. like Trash Bags just didn't. There was no like bass music, like dubstep, mm -hmm. trap, all that. Kind of, drum and bass was not massive at Trash Bags. Yeah. Um, from what I remember, so would you um yeah. would you say that there was like a huge change, like in terms of taste of music? Obviously, yeah. Obviously, we all know like, trends and stuff come along, like trap and whatnot. But like, did you see a bit of a change in like, I guess the people that were coming to those events or? Nah, I just, it's literally like, uh, like you guys said, errors, cause I'm old. <laughs> um, the it's, decades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, literally, um, it's just literally like very, very similar, same kind of thing. Same, same, but different, you know, like yeah. you'll get the same type of, say like one era you had fluoro and it's these types of people. Next era it'll be the exact same type, type of people, but wearing like flannels or something. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like something that. like that. Like yeah, it's just sure. fluoros yeah. to flannels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. And now it's just all black. Like yeah. everyone yeah. just wears black. Yeah. Yeah. Fluoro's yeah. coming back in now though. I feel, so I feel like, like the, 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 esh, the Eshe. Oh, the, yeah, the, the era, they're coming back. Yeah, the Eshe. Oh, they're coming back hard. Definitely, definitely. They had their what? Like maybe two years ago they had their They're coming back again. They're coming back strong. I think it's like that grime. The grime Yeah, That's why I started wearing it because I love the grime, but then I stopped wearing it because of Everyone was around. Like, How you going, bro? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, uh, that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so I guess back on Bixa Factory, because that's that's where I met you initially yeah. at um, Datsik. I don't know if you remember that night. Probably not. Uh, yeah, that was ages ago. That's that's when I first met you. Um, but I remember that you you also used to be in a duo. Did I? Yeah, with with um, you used to be in a duo with NATO called Camo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was that was that was our uh, that was our like when chat was coming in, we were just like we clicked, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're just like yo, like let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, I was gonna say well, when did that I, like because I every single time I saw NATO, it was always <clears> you there, and it was always vice versa. So like when did that bromance sort of like start? Well, off? NATO was kind of like he was playing for the guys at Biscuit Factory before Biscuit Factory was a thing, mm. and then he started playing at these events, and he's like, yo, you gotta come play, and then he kind of basically. I guess got me onto him or we started doing back to back. I can't remember, but um, he basically got me in there with him and we just clicked. Like we have like the same taste of music. We're the same like idiots in life. <laughs> yeah. We're just, we're just like, we click. We're, we're pretty much like the same person, but different, you know? So yeah. we were like, we're kind of like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, we just, and then we were just like, what can we call each other? And we we're both wearing like camo hats. So we're just like camo boys, <laughs> but it's hashtag camo boys. Hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag. I remember when uh, we, we were like becoming a duo and like, um, we were trying to figure out like names and stuff. And, oh. like, yeah. We should try and like do like, it should be like something like the camo boys, but, but not really. Like yeah. we were just trying to, like, work boys. <laughs> we were trying to work our way around it. Like I think one suggestion was like base boys. Yeah. Like, base we, went, boys. we went through yeah. some. There was like no meaning behind any of the names nah. that we were going with ever. 
Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's cool. But yeah, the, uh, I remember when you guys start, when you played there. I was like, man, these guys are sick. Like, yeah, like we clicked. Like I haven't clicked like that playing back to back with like someone that well. Like you know, like I've played with a lot of people and we played, but like with him, it's just kind of like, am I DJing as well? Like is he <laughs> yeah. me right now? Because yeah. he would just play like like you know how when you play with someone else that you don't know, like you kind of like you kind of want this flow to keep going, and sometimes the flow doesn't go. Like the flow would go. Like it's yeah. just it's just like I'd play a song and he'd be like, dude this song's going to go perfectly this. And I'm like, how does this even work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's the exact same, like, same time as how we feel. Like, yeah. Like, we, we, we go to the extent where like, I'm playing, I'm just about to queue up a song and then he's like, bro, I was just about to play that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, that happened so <laughs> many <laughs> times with NATO. Man, oh, I miss that dude. Yeah, where, know, where is he? He's, he's, he's in uh, yeah. London. Oh, old London, mate. Old London. Is that, is that London? Yeah, London, mate. London, mate. <laughs> Um, but I mean, we, yeah, we, we used to play, I remember when we play our big Biscuit Factory events, we would play first and then it'll be like, yeah, like, yeah. So it'll be just like the, the, the changer will be so epic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But like, then it just eventually like Biscuit Factory all stars. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so yeah, it all just like get, get pissed and yeah, just like, yeah, all right, yeah. we'll play one song. So we go back there. Get yeah. Drink, someone yeah. Else play for That's what bit. I do half the time. I play a song and disappear. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, where'd you go? Like, it was so chill, man. Oh, I miss those days. They were oh, good. Yeah. That was, that was fantastic. Good. Days. Good. Good. So, Tower Boys. Cowboys, that's oh, it. Oh, oh my shit. god, White yeah. Dove. Who was White Dove? It was NATO. That was NATO. That was NATO. Yeah. That was NATO yeah. So yeah. Tower Boys was we just used to wear towels on our heads because that's that was the full trap yeah, thing yeah, to do. Yeah. <laughs> we all had black towels, but NATO missed out. Had a white towel, so he was the White Dove. Yeah, for, white for dove. everyone playing at home that didn't know that. <laughs> we we actually we have a photo of, of us. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Twelve Planets in it as well. Oh, yes. no, yeah, no, that no. photo. I wasn't there for that. Yeah, one. yeah, was, I was. Oh, away. Yeah. I was away. Oh no, there's another one at the day party. That was that was where it started. Yeah. But with the white, why did the white? Didn't the dove situation happen with you at the back of the Met? What? No, the no, 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 no. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the yeah, pigeons. Yeah, you're talking yeah, about the pigeons. pigeons. Yeah, that's right. oh. They're not doves. Oh, that was. Yeah, so there, there, there was, that's a great story. So, like, I mean, um, we're all chilling outside in the Met, like at the back the of the alley. Way, I think yeah. you were just about to play, and I forget who it was for. But um, yeah. we're all just chilling there. And it's just, two a.m. Mind you, yeah, it's two yeah, a.m. You're just spazzing out for some weird reason. Uh, and like, are we all good? You're like, man, some pigeon just like shadowed me. <laughs> but dude, it's a whole alleyway, like this long, long alleyway. Like, there's meters and meters of places to sit and everything. It's two a.m. in the morning, and a pigeon shits on me. <laughs> How is that even possible? Seriously, yeah, bro, come on, I, it's two a.m. I remember. I think I don't have the video now, but you. <laughs> You were grabbing ice off the ground and, and you were the throwing, throwing, yeah, throwing it at the pigeon. He shit on me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't hit any of them for anyone. That's kinda of like that's animal cruelty. Yeah. 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 The, no pigeons were harmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was um that was really, really um Yeah. Annoying. But don't they say it's like luck if like a bird shits on you? I guess so. So I mean well, so, you're playing yeah. Splendor this weekend? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, so there's my luck there's right luck. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Right. that's the luck. That the Dude, luck. Uh, you could officially say that I'm closing the festival because I'm the last person on, along with TP Forest, but, you know, oh, we'll just say it. We'll yeah, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. We'll just say, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it the Smirnoff? Yeah, Smirnoff. Um, like, they, it's called The Wilds. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what the means. Are they setting it up in a bush or something like that? I don't yeah, know. true. <laughs> a little mini bush door. I don't know. Closing set. Yeah, but... It could get weird. I think that'd be pretty packed, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've played Splendor a couple of years ago. It's wild. Mm. Like, because it, because it, it, um, all the main stages close at twelve. Yep. Like everything closed, and then TP Forest and Smanoff stay up until two. So like, well, so everyone is just packed. like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's w- wild. Would you say that uh, Splendor is probably either the biggest festival that you played at? Uh, played Touch Base. It's mm. not, probably not the biggest, but um, Touch Base is the biggest crowd. But Splendor would be the biggest like festival, festival with, festival. with um, attendance. Mm. Yeah, who's playing there this year? It's like. Um, Ch- is, is it Chancer? Is Childish Gambino? Is it yeah. Childish? Childish, Childish, Childish is in it. I think they're both there. I yeah. think they're both there. Yeah. Russ yeah. is there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then that's all I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I oh, you're know. playing. Obviously. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's all I know. <laughs> Worry about your boy here. <laughs> no, nah, so like, nah, we were like a late addition. So we, we got like a revelry management kind of co-hosting thing with um, these other guys. And um, so we got the whole revelry crew there playing. And yeah, yeah, so it should be good. That'd be sick. That'd yeah, be sick. Should be that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be pretty epic. I've never actually been to... Oh, actually, I went to Splendor once. Splendor is, I would say, Australia's best like camping festival easily. Mm. It's like, it's 100%. cold. It's cold as, but it's just fun. Like the vibes are good. Like I honestly have never run into like 
a shit person there or an asshole or anything like that. Like everyone's nice, everyone's mm. chill. There's so much to do. Like even if you don't want to go see bands and everything, you can do a whole heap of other things and stuff like that. So yeah, because it's uh it's in Byron Bay. <laughs> yep. And like I I just know, is it I, I think it's Splendor or other um, Blues Fest. One of them, it always rains. Like Splendor, Splendor. Yeah. <laughs> like I've been to Splendor three or four times, and like. Two years it didn't rain, which is like perfect, and then like the other years it like pisses down. Yeah, and it's knee like, deep in mud, right? Oh, it's it's disgusting, man. Like we we we, we went to Bunnings and bought like concrete kind of concreting like gum boots because you need them that high. There's that <laughs> much mud, and we were all camping in our car because we just sleep in the back of our cars. And my mate's like, I'm gonna sleep in my tent and his tent was just leaking the whole time <laughs> but the dude never asked to sleep in our car so he was just he woke up one morning like in a pool of water and oh. i'm like dude you need to like sleep in one of our cars like it's you know like we don't care like you know it's so I, I couldn't think of anything worse oh dude it was waking up wet yeah wet, oh wet clothes, dude it, wet everything bed, like Bad Every, wet dude, is just no. Everything Damn was so <laughs> good. <laughs> no good. And then like because it's muddy when it dries, you get oh, the crusty man. ass dude, bed. Dude, oh, it's man. the worst. It's when it when it rains, it's not fun. But some people love it when it rains, and I'm like you are mentally ill. <laughs> like, there is there is there is nothing fun no, about that. No way. Yeah. But um, you know whatever. Yeah. So, um, no, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I think um one thing that we didn't mention about Biscuit Factory was that time that we played with Slum Jack. Do you remember, do you guys remember that day? Oh, when that we had... day went for like 20 hours how we had to like just stay Sorry. awake. I think, so I, let, I oh, was this let, one let, me, let we... me set the scene. Let me set the scene. <laughs> so, the, so the day before, this is when you and Jordan, uh, Jordan released that EP called Chido. Oh, yeah. hmm. Is it Chido? Is that what it's called? Yep. Cheeto. 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 My bad. Like Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah, but Cheeto. Uh, and you had a really big release uh, yeah, party. we had, we had like a big party, and yeah. we invited like right. family, friends, yeah. like yeah, media yeah. people, and that was everything. Dope. Oh, yeah. that's, um, that's good. And then the next day, I think you were you kicked on from that party. Uh, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, we were, I'm pretty we were soft. LA because I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure pretty I stayed sure LA, but I'm pretty soft at kicking on. Like I'm not a big kick on person. So, well, I just remember. Not I remember anymore. the next day. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, you uh, you were looking, you know, you were looking a bit. Pale. How you going? I'm old, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... And then uh, I just remember we had to play that afternoon party. I'm pretty yeah, sure the Biscuit Factory it was Proto Hype. Proto Hype. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 3 p.m. At 3, 3 p.m. in the afternoon at Capulet. Yeah, Capulet. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a day correct. party. And we had to play at 3 a.m. Yeah, that night. And we had to try and figure out what we were going to do for 12 hours in the yeah. valley. <laughs> you play... You played before Slumber Jack? You played before, after and we played I, after you. Was I think it was after. Because yes. I think like Jordan Burns and uh, Young Jalapeno were on before them. Yeah, yeah. That was when the whole gang used to be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gang. The gang. The gang, gang, gang. gang, gang. gang, gang. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I can remember we were just hanging out and then all of a sudden we end up getting to the Met and then you're like, oh yeah, uh, I'm just going to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to the toilet. I'll be back in a sec. And then you just disappear. For hours. <laughs> Yeah. Don't don't worry about us. <laughs> Yo, just I'm like, tired as fuck, <laughs> sitting in cocos in a in a in one of the booths, just hiding away. Bro, like, we were like we were dying. We were yeah, absolutely. Next thing you know, day. where's Noi in the green room sleeping, <laughs> having yeah, a good old nap? Dude. You're sleeping. No, no. We just see you come on, come out on stage. We're like, where did you come from? Where have you been? Oh, right? I'll have a nap in the green but, room, bro. Literally, I'm just a smoke bomb king. Let's just oh. let's, let's, let's put that on the record. I have noticed that. that. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. I'll be having a drink with the Met one morning and like, gone. <laughs> Nowhere to be found. <laughs> Ask anyone. Anyone knows that, man. I just can't. I don't know. Like, it's just too hard to say bye to people because everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, whatever, dude. And then it's, it's, either, it's either that or if you're in a big group of people, you have to say goodbye to everyone. Every yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, I, don't like to, I don't like goodbyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm going to see yeah. you next week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just hello forever. So, uh, uh, What about another funny green room story? Just, do you guys remember um, when we tried to go to the Met green room and we couldn't get let in because there was a Oh, cert- there was a cert- oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> dude, go upstairs. And we, oh. we wanted to go in. There was a live act on at the Met and it was some rapper that we didn't know at the time and we're like yo let's go to the green room we're walking up and this manager comes out yo bro you can't be in here and we're like what he goes, he goes this is Jeezy's green room I'm like whatever <laughs> <laughs> and then I come downstairs and I'm like 
Yo, Jaden, man, like some asshole rapper G Easy's up there. Like, having no I idea. Say, I remember saying, I was like, who the fuck <laughs> is G Easy? I don't remember Next. you guys came back up to the VIP and you're like, yeah, this G Easy guy. And you guys were going on about it for Dude, hours. We were so I was bagging him hard. I, was, I'm I love G Easy, man. Like, I love G Easy. <laughs> a year later, I am absolutely flogging G Easy every yeah, second track yeah, that yeah, comes on. Yeah, yeah, like a year later, that yeah, album that came out. What is it? Beautiful and Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. I was like, oh, Oh my god! <laughs> I love the cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just remember that night. Um, like he sold the med out, but I, yeah. I, I, I had no idea who he was. I had no idea. idea. Like, and um, no idea. Just goes to show you guys. <laughs> we're be behind careful. the eight ball and we're DJs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that man. was crazy shit. So, yeah. how has your tour been lately? Yeah. My tour, yes. oh man, it's actually been epic. It looks like it, it looks been crazy. crazy. Yeah, right? like. Uh, I just get, like, every tour that I do, I get blown away. Like, just the people that I meet, the things that I do, mm. um, just everything about it, man. I, I love it. Like, I, I if, if, like, if they were like, yo, you got to leave tomorrow for six months, like, I would be like, yep, yeah, like, in a heartbeat. Like, I love 100%. it so much. And it's just like, yeah, the tour's been sick. Like, I've played um, pretty much every other. The last show was Splendor this weekend. Um, so I did probably about 15 shows from memory. I don't know. Mm. Um, for the last while. And it's... Um, yeah, it's been epic. Like, I've played around the whole country. Um, it's... I can't even... Like, I just... I get shocked every time that I rock those, up. Like, those are under-18 shows. Look. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Mental, good, good light. Like, people are like, yo, enjoy your blue light disco. And I'm like, I'll enjoy playing to, like, 2,000 hyped-up kids that, <laughs> that get down to trap and dubstep. <laughs> yeah, 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 see ya. Yeah. I feel like they fuck with, like, more of the older shit than, like... Yeah, yeah. Than, like, the crowd that, like, a Biscuit Factory and stuff, because they're, like... You know, they're all about like no, no, heavy, they, 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 stuff. They, they the, love it, man. I, kids, I love man. playing like um, these underage good life shows. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, they're just so hype, mm. so like happy. And like, you just get like, like, like some people, I guess, maybe older people kind of don't feel like they, they don't have to message a DJ, but you get so much love from these kids. Oh, like, they oh, follow you and they give you so much support, so much love. And they're like, yo, like you're awesome. And the best thing is like when they turn 18, like they're like, yo, I'm yeah, coming to see yeah, you in the club now. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you're like, you're so cool. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, no, nah, they're epic. The good life shows are awesome. Um, yeah. Do you find there's like, um, like a huge, uh, dynamic between playing in a club and then playing to like an underage, age 18 like in a club setting as well is that um, much of a- the only difference is like um they've just got more energy man like yeah. you have to give them the energy they have so like when like in a club like when you go clubbing like clubbing isn't all about just going hard out like clubbing's you know having drinks having fun mm. dancing you know seeing your acts doing all this kind of stuff but then like these kids just like this is they get like one they get to do this once like every three mm. to six months yeah. like they just go in, so you have to just feed them with energy in the best like set you can play. And and your sets are short, man. Your sets are only like half hour forty five. Yeah. Like, like if I had to play like a full hour and a half set, like I'd probably have a heart attack. On <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's actually it's really good. Like it's just full energy, 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 energy. That's all you got to do. That's, That's all awesome. you got to bring. How yeah. many more shows uh, is left on this current tour? The noise just present. the one. Just the splendor. One. splendor. Wow. Yeah. Going out with a bang. <clears throat> and you're actually closing the festival. Closing a festival on the end of my tour. Yeah. Nah. Uh, yeah, no, just the one, and then um, got a little bit of time off. I'm gonna just go, on, just go on to USA to see family and stuff like that. But then um, after that, uh, get back into the grind for nice. some more releases, all that kind of stuff. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I guess for the people at home, can you just can you do you know how many tours you've been on like nationally and internationally? Uh, probably four or five. Four or five. Only probably, usually about uh, officially yeah four or five, but I've probably done about six or seven. Yeah, yeah but yeah. um. They're like so the you, one, they're, they're the ones where I just put all the seasoned. Yeah. You've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> so in saying that, out of all those shows, is there one place that okay? Is there one place you always love going, and then one place you'll you be like, where am I? Like this is this is Do, cr- weird. Um, I mean, there's like, no way that's yeah. really that weird, but like, um, like, I know I'm being a bit biased, but like the Met. Brisbane, like that that place, like that place bangs. Like it's you got three rooms. Yeah, the club layout's awesome. The team there's awesome. The sound system's awesome. The the lighting and visuals, mm. like the screen, the yeah, LED screen, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Like it's epic. Like it's one of my favorite places. But like everywhere is good. Like everywhere is up to scratch. And like. <clears throat> 
Excuse me. And then um, some people like, you know, are like I'll play like in the middle of nowhere and people will be like, oh yeah, have fun. And I, I'm like, yo, like country towns go hard. Yeah, like I yeah, love country. Right. You guys know that. Like yeah, they go hard. They so are the right. best. Like I love I'm them so because right. they just like, yo, and they go in and they just like, they're crazy, but it's so awesome. Like, that one uh, that one place in Cairns. Yeah, Mariba. That's yeah, exactly that's what I was saying. They go hard. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. Nigel? The Aboriginal man who picked us up from the airport. Oh, oh he was who's hilarious. Nigel? Tell me about it. I, oh. I, I think he was. Uh, I think he was started working with them like just freshly, and like he was the man. He like had all the jokes, bro. We had we had a good time with him. Remember he was smoking his pipe. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> what? He put, like put yeah. tobacco in the pipe and stuff. Oh, yeah, I, was, I thought oh, was, I thought you were talking about weed. Oh, no, I was like, I, was like no, what? No, no, I thought he was talking about weed, but it wasn't weed. It yeah. was, was just he, tobacco. He was just like got tobacco, and he had this like Gandalf pipe, bro. It was long. And we, were, we, were the, we were at the site, like going, you know that drive how you go up the, the hill? Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you can yeah, see, yeah. like, look out at cans and stuff. He, like, st- I'm like, oh, can we stop here and, like, get a like, couple of photos and stuff? He's like, yeah, yeah, sweet. So we stopped there and we just, like, walk up to the thing and he just casually just whips out this pipe, bro, <laughs> and just starts hitting it. There's people around. He's just like, taking a coat. And I'm just like, cloud. Cloud. And I'm just like, like, legit, him. legit, there's clouds, like, Big massive clouds coming. I'm filming him and he like looks at me and he just like smiles on this video. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's like, that's yeah, literally, it was literally like exactly like that, we, bro. We really should um bring out that vlog because that, oh, that, that was funny. That was a funny trip. But yeah, but bring it out. um that place is is mental. crazy. Best steaks I've ever had, hands down. The food there is Ooh, amazing great food. Well, but where does everyone come from? Oh yeah, that's, Dude, you're like they, driving through know, there. The I know. There's like one street. And there's no one in town, and then you play, and there's like 800 people in the venue, and you're like, "Where yeah. did everyone?" They like from? move all the tables. It's like cause you sit down there. It's like a nice, yeah, it's a restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah. It's like yeah. dope food. Like kids there, family there. <laughs> it's nine o'clock, and the raging starts. <laughs> they, <laughs> push, <laughs> they push all the tables to the side and get it going on. Yeah. I think when we played, they had to like slow down entry because. Like it hit, it would have hit cap at like ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. It was like probably because it was a monthly event. So they, yeah, they, like they got some big names out there and stuff. They got um, they got Drezzo, didn't they? Yeah, 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 dude, yeah they got yeah, Drezzo out there, dude. Like, what the hell? no one would have known like who he was. Never, t- dude. Just... Like Drezzo has played to more people in one gig than the whole population of that town. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> like, seriously, like, it was like, what is it like? I don't know. There's not many people there, but you probably yeah. pull him up and you probably like that was your shit, 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 shit gig, shit gig. Dude, he, I reckon he would have loved him, man. Like, like they were hyped. Yeah, yeah, they, but like the like the DJ booth is uh, uh the bro. You're in, you're in the kid room. You're in the kid room with a little the little. <laughs> little but but, but in saying that, they do have an epic sound system and yes. epic setup. Like everything yes, is on they point. Did. Like they they do it right. They do it right. It's just that's the that's the only place that the DJ booth can really yeah. see. So when when the the chick comes over and she was giving us the full rundown, she's like, oh yeah, you, and you guys are just playing there. I looked in there and I was like, you've got to be kidding. I was like, I was, I was like, how is this gonna work? How, yeah, how is this even? Yeah, how is this gonna work out? And no, but yeah, epic. but oh. like the best thing was that was the only place with aircon. Does, yeah, you yeah, yeah, like, kind of it, yeah. So yeah. area was just so hot, and then you just walk in it like, oh, it makes all man, sense. it gets sweaty up in cans. It's <laughs> humid as yes, that's crazy. So um. Let's talk about some music, man. How long have you been uh, producing for? Uh, producing. So I've been into music since like grade two. So mm-hmm. like I can play like four or five different instruments and stuff nice. like that. But um, So Noi Live is coming soon? Like the live show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play uh, clarinet <laughs> and saxophone on stage. That would be so I'm going to do like a, you know those house DJs that have like a saxophone player? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be that with dubstep, you know? Blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's>, um, <laughs> Lovely. Nah, so uh, for that nice. one, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Noi live <laughs> clarinet solo, <laughs> trap. but um, yeah, uh, I've been producing probably only about five years, like not not as long as I've been DJing. Like, um, I only really got into it, um, just making like bootlegs and edits mm. and like random remixes. Like my first remix, I th- well bootleg remix, whatever you want to call it, was off Parachute Youth. Uh, you know that song, Can't Get Better Than This, or whatever that song, whatever so. it's called. I think oh, whatever so. it's called. Can we pull that one up? Do you know that song, or is that too old? Like, is that like, is that? <laughs> no, no, it might be a bit past. Yeah, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's a classic. Yeah, Adam. that's it. Who was it? Welcome, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Beep, beep, boop, beep, Um. Yeah. Yes. But So good. Yes. It's only like four or five years, and then, um. And then, yeah, I'll just do, like, random, like, 
this was basically when I started getting into like bass music and everything mm -hmm. like that. Before that, I, when I first started DJing, just for the record, I used to play like minimal tech and everything like that. And then I formed into electro and then went into dubstep and then went back to electro and then went into like trap, dubstep mm. and everything. And now I just play open format and everything. But yeah. um, I think um, one of the first remixes I heard of you, well, obviously there was a collard, collard greens. Oh, uh, yeah, no. that one was epic. Uh, that, that, uh, bro, everyone, everyone loved that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, um, that even got played on, like, Triple J. MIA one. Yeah, the yeah. That was, that was yeah. That. yeah, that was before that. Yeah, so that was... That one that got the heat. Yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. So that, I made that randomly. Like, I was driving home one day listening to um, MIA Bring the Noise, and I was like, yo, I need a remix. This, this vocal sample sick. Mm. And I went home a couple hours later, bang, banged it out, done, put it up. And then, like, two weeks later, uh, everyone loved it. And then two weeks later, like, I'm driving home from the coast, and... I just get this message. It's like, hey, you know, MIA is playing instead of shows. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and then like literally just YouTube, like MIA, at, like Glastonbury and she's playing my remix. <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. And I'm like, oh my God. And then like Interscope contacted me and they were like, yo, like we want you to remix um, MIA's next single for an album and stuff like that. And I was like, sweet. And then... Um, yeah, I hold on. Interscope. Yeah, yeah, like, like Interscope. Like We're talking like... Not, <laughs> not just the random local label. No, no, Interscope. I'm talking about like wow. Interscope, like the the big dogs from the states and everything Gee, like that's that. Dope. Yeah, like they fully like contacted me and wanted me to do it. I got the stems and everything, and they gave me two weeks to do it, and I did it. And then um, they just said we're not going forward with this release, and that's it. And I couldn't put it out or anything like that. And um, that, that, that was the end of the. It's crazy. End of my interscope journey, guys. Ah. <laughs> I, I think it's 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 crazy because like uh, you know a lot of producers. I guess we don't really get to talk about like how much rejection there is oh, man. to success. Dude. Like to get where uh, obviously n n you know no you you build up so much like a, a huge catalog of music that you've you can tour and you can like do all those great things. But like there would have been a grind that you've had to get through. Like, oh man, for like maybe like every one song that goes out, you probably go through like at least 10 like like drafts like mm. not drafts of that one song like just 10 random ideas and before that you're probably making hundreds of just like random instrumental beats ideas mm. that are just like don't make the line so it's like people that think you just make one song and then that's what that's gets it. signed it's just like like at the moment like it's just like just yeah rejection is like everyone should get used to <laughs> everyone should get used to rejection because sure, uh, yeah it kind of it kind of sucks but like don't let it decide on you. It doesn't mean your music sucks. It just means it's not for that person. That's exactly right. It. Like so. So how how in 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 saying that, like how do you, how would you deal with that personally? Um. Well, I don't like back in the day. It probably would have hit me. Like I would, probably would have been like, I'm so crap. I'm gonna quit DJing. Like why am I even doing this? <laughs> now or oh, yeah. <laughs> but then once you kind of get it a few times, you realize that it's just like a normal thing. Like it's just it's nothing. It's nothing bad against them or nothing bad against yourself. It's just like that's just that's just the way it is. They don't want your music or they don't vibe what you're doing. And um, how do I deal with it? I just, I just go, I, I just, yeah, I, I just cry myself every night. Shout out mental <laughs> illness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Timing. Right, right, hold up. You, you, were you waiting that whole, yeah, like, <laughs> the whole just, podcast he's yeah, been loading yeah, that yeah. and trimming it and getting it ready. <laughs> he's like, yo, yo. And he just had to slide it in there. That's, in that's, there. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. But, but like, yeah. I, I, um, I, I don't know, man. Like it, it, people, people get like too bar hurt over it. Don't take it personally. Just yeah. keep going, keep going and like keep trying and trying. And, and if, if it gets rejected by everyone and you just can't find a label and you really want to put it out, just self-release it like yeah, there's so many 100%. cool self-releasing things these days and like you can do like spotify playlist pitching now you can like you can do a lot of things yourself now but having a label backing you is such an epic thing because yep. all, there's always a great team to work with and everything like that oh look it's my manager calling me oh so, <laughs> we could put him on the podcast but <laughs> no okay. he'll probably be talking to me about something <laughs> no. Yeah, no, we, we didn't get to test out maybe next time uh, um but yeah, but, it, it's, yeah it's crazy um you know i think I think you've just got to be <laughs> mentally strong and in terms of like not be so precious on well, a, a well, so the label music. side I, of things. I was, yeah. I was talking about this the other day. So like, uh, I know it's getting a bit deeper now no, 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 to, okay. into the um, like mental dope. side, but like, like if you like, I kind of compare all this stuff to like sports stars. So if you have like LeBron James or something like that, like the dude played basketball his whole life. So like he would have gone through like high school and the bigger and better he got slowly and slowly and slowly, the more hate he would have copped, the more, 
pushbacks he would have got, blah, blah, blah. So by the time he's in the NBA, the hate that he gets thrown at him or the rejections he gets or whatever, like it doesn't hurt him because he's dealt with it so hard. Mm-hmm. But imagine being like this bedroom producer and you make like this one song that's like a hit and then it's like everyone loves you and everything and then and then what follows when everyone loves you, you get some people that just throw hate. And then like if you're not used to that, it's going to like – beat at you but yeah, then the huh. next thing is if you if you get like management and then you make us another song and then it gets rejected you think you don't have anything anymore mm. because you're not used to rejection because you've got that one hit that kind of yeah. gets you so like i think yeah like um you got to be mentally strong in this shit yeah. and not not let it get to you you know what i mean like it's it's kind of hard but um like you just got to realize that it's just like it's it, it, yeah it's hustle it's but it's just right. fun you know what i mean like it's 100%. fun it's not like it's not like you know um like like if you know if you don't like if they reject you that you're actually shit like yeah. if someone comes up to you and, sc- and someone says you have a piece of shit on your head do you have a piece of shit in your head you don't have a piece of shit on your head so like it's not true and it's the same with that it's like your music shit it's like well no it's not shit it's just not for you so you know, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely uh, that's some truth right there that's true um I think uh, so. So back back to like obviously music and yep. um, obviously you saying like um, you have dab- like dabbled in different genres. Yep. Have yeah. noticed on the recent EP that we've actually featured. Yeah, on. yeah, that, that was, was epic. That was the, that was probably the funnest EP I've ever done. Was, I, was, I was loved it, man. Like, and like, wait, wait, wait! Shout out to actually us finishing a track. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Like, like, how many so times? How many years in the studio? Right, where right, we, so like, we've done two, two tracks. Releases to, yeah, one of our yeah, AP yeah, one of yours. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, right. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's kind of good. Get yeah, one's yeah. mine, and then we did the uh, the Kendrick Lamar oh, shit. remix. Oh, that got yeah, no, heat. but that that got heat, and it got pulled down on SoundCloud. Oh, so and smooth. then we had to re-upload, it and you never that get you is, never yeah, get as much no love way. when you re-upload. That was, that was going good, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck you, SoundCloud. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love you, SoundCloud. Yeah. If you're listening, <laughs> don't delete that crap. Yeah. Chance rapper. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Um, so we do. You, do you also remember we were sitting in the studio and we were going to re- remix one of, like, uh, was it one of Migos songs? Yeah, and then we like got halfway through, dude, and we're like, oh, dude, no, I don't bad and about bougie. It. When it like first, I was like, yo, we need to get mm. onto this, and then we're like, nah, like, yeah, like, I swear like we've done that with yeah. like. So yeah, many, so and then literally songs. like three to six months later, it's like bad and bougie. Just everyone raindrop. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> playing on the radio. It's like going yeah, mental. Oh yeah. man. Uh, anyway, back to uh, back to like production stuff. Like yep. you said, you dabbled in like different genres, and the yep. recent EP, uh, you know, got to notice that you had a lot of house tracks, like two house tracks. Yep. I don't even know what you class our ones. Mid tempo. I'd say mid tempo. Yeah, yeah. Mid tempo trap. Yeah, uh, and thing. then there was like a trap one. So mid you had. Trapper. Dad joke. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm... laughs> oh, I was waiting for oh, that. So timing. Good. How good is this? Uh, uh, but yeah, um, I know mean, you throw me off. <laughs> yeah, I know. A couple genres and Yeah, stuff. so a couple of. <laughs> couple of. A uh, couple of genres. Um, that you've, you've produced on the EP. So yep. is uh, are you looking to do to be like a more of a multifaceted artist or just sort of pigeon your, yourself in like other house or um, dive more that way? Yeah, I want to be like a multi kind of genre artist. So mm. um, like basically when I first got into DJing, like a DJ that stu- stood out for me was Diplo. Like Diplo was kind of like my idol through so many things and all this kind of stuff. And um, basically... Like I just I started playing all these all this music and like I I love like every genre essentially like I don't have a, a certain genre and then like whenever I was playing trap I was always playing like like whenever I was playing like full trap or full electro I was always dabbling in like a bit of hip hop remixes this remix this remix and then I just thought man like um like I don't want to be just like a one genre DJ because that's not what I like to play like I like to play everything so it's like and then even when I started producing like. I would make like a house track or like, you know, s- uh, electro track or something. And then I was like, oh, I can't put it out because I'm playing trap. And then mm. I just thought like, why am I limiting myself to this? And then I thought, well, like I really want to, you know, um, like kind of cross genre kind of thing. And, and, you know, like a lot of people these days that you even talk to, it's like, oh, what do you like? They're like, I like house, trap, dubstep, you know, they like cross genres. So it's mm. like, why do I need to pigeon my hole myself into that? And, um, you know, I just thought, well, whatever I like to make, I'm going to make. And then it's like, who who are my homies? Who do I like to make music mm. with? And I hit all my homies up and we're just like, yep, let's do this. And it's just like, yo, let's make something like this. Okay, cool. Let's do it. You know? And yeah. um, I just thought, 
that's the best thing. And like you know, I just I, I like I, I love playing everything, and I don't want to be you know pigeonholed. And, and and you know, it it is a bit hard to kind of like create a brand around that because it's like, how do you kind of establish a yeah, fan base? But like I think these days it's like everyone's more open-minded like mm. when i first started mm. playing it was like oh, everything was like around the 128 bpm it was yeah, like yeah. house electro techno kind of stuff it. that was it even when i started, turned 18 it was just like trap if you don't play trap well but maybe a little bit after yeah, I started, yeah, yeah. I turned 18 but it got into it if you don't play trap that's see, it. see when i first started playing trap they were like oh like maybe don't play this it doesn't really work mm. and then it just started working and then it was like trap was everywhere yeah everywhere. It was like everywhere 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 and then i was kind of like oh like everyone's playing it like why not mix it up a little bit, you know, like just throw in something here and there and stuff like that. Rhythm. So, yeah, rhythm. You know, womp, mm. womp, womp, womp. <laughs> just I, I, you know, like as much as Hey is on rhythm, like there is some epic rhythm yeah. track. Oh, like, oh, the sound, the sound design on some of those things 100%. is crazy. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the genre. Yeah, all, yeah. But when you listen to it for eight hours straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I just, I just want to be open format because, you know, Diplo is like um, a big idol of mine and, I love what he makes and produces and same with like Dylan Francis, DJ Snake, uh, all those kind of big guys. I just really love that whole um, festival, big, big vibe. And they, mm. they don't limit themselves to the thing. You know, it's like, well, if you said, what does Diplo play? It's like, you, you know, Everything. you say, that's yeah. Diplo. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So like maybe one day it can be like, what does Noi play? You know, like that's just, yeah, that's, that's just awesome. Noi, you know what I mean? So that's, dope. Um, that's why I did the EP. Like I thought it'd just be really cool to kind of, and the other one is just collab with homies, you know, it's like if mm, like, you know, we can, we can use both our audiences and build out, beat it, build each other up and you know, all this kind of stuff. So, um, you know. 100%, bro. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, I think now in Brisbane, especially, I think there's a really good tight group that like we you know people can always sort of like especially producers like us we can always like reach out and be like yeah, yeah what do you think, well, of, do you think of this yeah. or, or collabs yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and usually like majority of the time everyone's pretty open like yeah yeah, to yeah. It, I think. so i think that's like yeah that's majority of the time yeah. majority yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. some people get so weird like i don't think i think i didn't get it like the the whole um competition like no. um uh, like you, we're, we're the same like we mm. don't see competition like if we no. get like when we get sets or like, you know, say someone plays here or plays here. We don't think anything weird oh, or bad. Oh, no. We're just like, whatever. But like some people kind of get like real butt hurt. And it's just kind of like, mm. it's kind of like, what's that? I think you put that quote up or I put, uh, I think I sent it to you or something or you put it up. It's like that, uh, uh, something about can't, like light. Like if you're, if you like, it's like supporting your homies isn't going to make you look any worse. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What was it that? Cost, it doesn't cost you anything to support your homies. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's just like, it's just like, you know, like, if you know, if you support your homies, it's not like basically going, oh, I'm not any good. Yeah. Like it's just like you're just pushing your homies. And exactly, you all gotta grow together. <clears throat> yeah, dude. If you work what? as a team, like if you look at Disciple, if you work at like Never Say Die, yeah, if you look at all those crews, like you know, even like you know, say like the Diplo, kind of Dylan Francis, like all those like mm. the friend yeah, friendship the, groups, like, they groups, push yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah. Like you just you're gonna kill it, but like some people just kind of get weird in it, and it um, kind of it's, 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 it's kind of disheartening when you hear it from like. When you hear it and you're kind of like, yo, like, please just remember, like, you know, like, I get you want to be successful, but like, you know, everyone's in their own lane doing their own thing. Like, exactly right. what DJ could you say in this whole, like, in the whole Brisbane scene even, like, is exactly the same as each other? Like, no one's exactly no, the no, same. No, everyone's right. got their own taste. So it's understand. like, everyone needs to chill out. Yeah. Chill out, everyone. Chill out. Everyone. If you're everyone. listening to this and you get up butthurt, chill, chill, chill out. out. <laughs> <laughs> chill out. And like, yeah. Do you have like a chill out sound? Like, whoosh. Yeah, what's a, what's a chill out sound? That, that was actually that was, that was like a breeze. And I think you're exactly right. Like, you definitely would feel for people, um, or certain artists who want to do it, things by themselves, because like, yeah. if it gets to the point where they they're stuck on something, there'll be there's no one around them uh, to help them. Dude, you know, like that's, that's that's the scary I, part for them. The best thing that I probably realized is like working with a team, like. Um, and that doesn't mean you need management or booking agents or anything like that. It's just a team of like homies that help each other out, like whether it's in the studio, whether you talk to, whether you get feedback, whether you ask like promoting things, whether you just ask questions, people you talk to because um, some people get weird about that. But like I reckon if you just talk and you, and if you have like, it's like, what is it? I think no, there's no I in team. Like don't yeah. do it by, you can't do it by yourself. Like no. you need people with you, you know. Yeah, sure. You need your yeah. support network. So um, yeah, yeah definitely. But, I, and I think like, like well, for me personally, I think Alex Tate was like a huge thing for me. 
Yeah, like he, he, he's he had our backs. Yeah. Um, Day dot. But, but he's exactly that kind of thing. Mm. He doesn't ever do give stuff. He doesn't give a shit. Like, he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't w- expect shit back. He just wants to help you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same with like, you know, like Hugh, who's yeah. my manager 100%. now. And like, who's, 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 who's put us on just as much as uh, Alex has. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, and, 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 you know, he doesn't uh, get any yeah. egotistically. He puts you, he, like, it's just like, who's the best? Who do the, who's the best for the person for this job? Yeah, who do they? Who does he want? It's yeah. not like, you know, that's like the other thing where people say like um, in the scene, like you know, oh, like you got to suck a lot of dick or something like that. Like, yeah. it's not really that. It's just like it's like you got to make yourself known. Like, don't sit in your bedroom all night and hate and then just expect to give everything to, to come get, to you. Come yeah. to you got to go out and meet people. People yeah, aren't yeah, going to yeah, book yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly Especially right. if you're just a local Brisbane DJ, just making yeah, mixes yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Sending them to people. People want to know who you are. Yeah, if you're yeah, a dick, yeah, you're not yeah, gonna yeah. get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booked. Oh, dude, you gotta have a good attitude. Man. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, no one, no one wants drama or a bad attitude. Yeah. Like, because they want to create like a family, especially exactly. if you're gonna be a residency it's, and stuff like that. A workplace. It's like, it's like, uh, like I'm not part of like the Stockies Sunday Stockies crew, but like you see them online, like they throw banter each other. Like they're oh, like yeah. a family. Yeah, like I'm like, I want to be part of that family. <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? Someone in this room yeah, is yeah, part yeah, of the Stockies crew. Yeah, how's it feel? Had me booked for a few weeks. So no. Beep beep beep. Shots fired. Where's the shots? Oh, well, uh, we we got to cut the shot now. Joke, joke, joke. Uh, I think like you guys are absolutely right. Like you know, it's that whole saying of like, you know, the whole saying of like, oh, it's not, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm. But it's like sometimes that like, yes. it's true, but. Well, You've got to get to you that. You've got to get to know that. But, but, but it's like, person. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like who you know. It's not who you know. It's like, it's like, do you know them or like, are you networking? Yeah, because yeah. like, like um, an example was like, um, like, I know Simon personally now who does touch base, but like I was just sitting there talking to him. I had no idea who he mm. was. And then he left and it was like, he was the guy run ran touch base. And yeah. like, you know, he's, a, he's such an awesome guy. He's so cool. So everything, but like, you wouldn't have even guessed it, but it's just like, you know, you're just meeting people like that, even on just like a hello basis. Like, mm. even if you're just sitting there and like, oh, what do you do? And, you know, like, you know, um, like I've met big DJs before and mm. I'll just be talking. I'm like, oh, who are you? And they're like, oh, you know, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, how did I not know this? <laughs> but it's just so cool just talking to them. And, you know, mm, they yeah. appreciate that you're just normal. But it's just like, you know, and then you can like, if you're on a one-on-one talking with them and then you become friends with them, then you know you create this network, and it's yeah. just you know that's who you know. It's but like up, you yeah. know, yeah, I think I think I think meeting people and talking to people and networking is such a such a big thing because um, you never know who you're going to meet. Exactly. You, you never know who you're, you're going to click with. Like you might meet someone and you just click with them, and then that could take you on a whole different yeah. journey. So didn't exactly. um, didn't you have a, a special? Uh, a special guest at one of your birthdays come through to one of your birthdays. Oh yeah, Zomboy rocked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were there. We had like yeah. wings and everything, and then like Alex is like, "Yeah, well, like, is it cool if Zomboy comes?" And I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's a bit full. Bro, that I, was, I, I, he was so I, dude. Chill, he's bro. a that dude. Was, like, Whoa, we were like there. he could have literally f- like if you didn't say he was Zomboy to anyone, like he would have just been like one of the boys. Like 100%. he was chill. Like, we, were, we weren't talking about like him. We were just talking yeah. about random yeah. shit. Yeah, he was funny, dude. He was a yeah, legend, was man. He was he telling was. me how he was vaping on the plane in first class, and he's just like, he'd like, because you can't vape on a plane, but he'd like hold it in. He'd just till it basically Nothing. disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh my god. He's like, yeah, it's crazy, but you know, that's that's insane, man. I yeah. mean, yeah, Zomboy, Zomboy. Uh, I remember when I, we got to meet him at the Met, and he was just like so down to earth. And he was, he was throwing throwing banter at uh, Hero Bus. Yeah, for, if for like I don't even know what, but yeah, he was he was the man, and I think um also another did we get to meet Flosh and Amos? No, we didn't. We no, didn't get to meet Floss. You Were you it. there that night? No. Oh, how come you were there? <laughs> what Floss? Floss, Floss. Yeah, didn't you play Floss? You were there, Floss. Oh, recently. Oh, just met. recently. Oh no. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't meet him though. Like I don't like. He gassed it. I don't know. Like I, I I'm all what, about. Uh, I'm all about meeting artists. But like you know, like if they if they don't want to get bothered, yeah, like I'm not gonna yeah. go, hey, man. Like listen to my mix, <laughs> that, bro. The only time we've yeah, done that is when Skrillex was backstage. And oh yeah. I yeah. I, like, look, I, I had to fanboy him. Like fan I literally had to be like, yo, can I get a photo? Like I like that dude. I look up to him. Like you oh, know, he's same. like he's he's up there with like my diplos and stuff like oh, that. Even though he's not like a cross drone. Oh, he's kind of cross drone. You could say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he's definitely um. One too, but he's he's um like he's like a number one. Like he's, I he's, think that night for both of us was like the highlight. 
Didn't uh, you get kicked off the decks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Skrillex kind of. All right. Skrillex hijacked your set, bro. I was like, I was going to hijack. If anyone's going to hijack your set, it's going to be Skrillex. He came up to us. He's the only person you'll let hijack your set. Yeah. He came up to us. He's like, yeah, can I play some songs? And we're just like, yo, we're closing, bro. Like, Nah, <laughs> oh, bro. Have can I play it? some songs? No, hey, you have cannot. You, have you not checked the Met roster? Like, yeah, yeah. Are you in the group? Bro, it's, uh, yeah, it says three thirty to close. Yeah. <laughs> Dimes doesn't say anything about Skrillex playing. <laughs> no, that was that was insane. That was that was a lot of when he came up to me. Yeah. I didn't really know. What to did say. you? Did you? You must have. No, you were there. I left. You oh, left. You were, we were playing back to back with you. it again. Surprise! Yeah. Surprise! Yeah. yeah. See you later. Yeah, boys. yeah. Because because uh, I think the set time went over, so I think I was gonna play like half an hour, and I was like, let's just play back to back. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we played like an hour, and, and then, then you gassed it. And then I was like, dude, I'm going. You're I was so tired. Next minute, I'm sending Snapchats. Yeah, I literally got home into bed, and then there's Skrillex and them playing, and I'm like, this is the one time I wish I never smoke bombed. <laughs> and like but, when know. when he jumped on, he. Um, he was playing like Dead Mouse. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, like I, I, I remember. Shit. I remember. Yeah, like cool like, stuff. Yeah, 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 just all that type of. It was, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was a dope night. That Epic. was a, one of my favorite nights. So, for those of you who don't know, Noi also runs a clothing brand called oh, yeah. Another Autumn. Woo! Hey, there you it is. The, the That's the OG one. That's what so, I got. Yeah. Yeah, dude, how long have you been doing that for? Oh man, I've been doing this for like seven years, wow. but. Um, Again, it's like the same with DJing. It was just a hobby. Like mm. all this stuff starts as a hobby and then just kind of picks up. So like I was at uni, um, I studied graphic design and um, I just made designs. I was like, I'm going to put these on t-shirts. And then um, I found a screen printing place um, called The Print Bar. They're massive now. He was doing it in his garage at the time. Now he's <laughs> got like a whole warehouse. And um, he, I'd literally rock up to his house and he'd have these shirts. I'd get like maybe like 10 shirts at a time and then um mate started buying it and i started getting more and then um i started printing it with a mate called gian you guys know gian mm. oh, and then, yeah. um who has a clothing label called still horror but mm. it's r.i.p it's not going anymore but um yeah and he showed me how to screen print and we pr- screen printed a bunch of stuff and um <clears throat> we did some collab shirts and everything mm. and and then um just kind of had got too much to handle there was way too many orders so then i just started getting um stuff printed for me again and um yeah it's going really well so i've just uh i'm not in any stores anymore at the moment because i was in a couple local ones but they're kind of closed down but um yeah just doing everything online i think online's mm. the best anyway yeah, like, that's, that's who goes in stores these days yeah like, let's be honest i like, went to coach kings in melbourne on the weekend and i was like come, come visit me <laughs> i swear there's more stuff to buy like, online, online the deals like, yeah. way better like Dude, i bought like, hats and i was like that, that yeah, was like, too expensive. like i go into culture kings to buy a hat and it's all the same hats and then i look online i'm like why aren't these hats in store like yeah. all the hats online are sick yeah. but i don't know Sorry, yeah guys. Oh yeah, why? I forgot to tell you I work there now. Do you work Coach Kings? Yeah, I work at Coach Kings now. Oh, which one? In store in Brizzy. So come through. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this like a plug? Like my <laughs> <laughs> I need my sales. I, I, I need my sales thought, to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, he was yeah, like, I got the job, I'm like, <laughs> dude, that's sick. Yeah, no, yeah I'll come crazy. through. I I'm actually never in the city, but I'll come through. Yeah, <laughs> never. I, I was, I was I, never I, in the city, but I'll come I never. I would never go in the city at all. Maybe to like for like a Broncos game or something like that. But like now, I'm in there like. All the time now, so if oh, anyone's cool. there, yeah, yeah, cool. no, for sure. Anyway, back to the fashion. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, was it was it like a passion of yours? Man, I just uh, love designing. Like, I think I'm just a creative person. Like, yeah. I love doing music. I love create. I love graphic design. I have a day job. My day job, on top of that, is mm-hmm. um, graphic design. So, um, like, I think I just love being creative, and um, it's just an outlet. And I just thought, well, let's just put it on clothes, and um, it's gone epic. Like, um, got a, I got a great supply. I got some good support networks. Um, yeah. It's it's epic. Like another one of dope, and I've just got an awesome summer range coming up. I think um, off, so. one time when we had a meeting with all the Met residents, like this is how you know, like Noe was getting full support. Of all. <laughs> Cause, like you would just walk in and like everyone would be wearing either hat, jumper. Yeah. It was just like a uh, another autumn like crew. Like, yeah, <laughs> I went to the Met one night, and there was like me included, like six of us wearing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. you know? I was like, everyone's like, yeah, I'm like, let's get a photo. Like, that's dope. Like, I love it. Like, gang, yeah, you know, 100%. <laughs> you know what I, I loved? I loved the, um, that spray jacket with the, was it the Japanese writing? Oh yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was, yeah. That that was, was a massive serious. seller. That one and the donut t-shirt. Was oh, like, the yeah. oh, man, I you I had one of them. Yeah. 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 I still got it. Is there, is there, uh, any sneak, like sneak hints that you might 
be coming out with like any other new designs in the next season or? um yeah yeah i got i got like um some cool stuff like i'm gonna start getting into like socks and shit like that like mm. I, I love i love wearing like cool socks and everything mm. like that so um some sh- socks what about shoes man shoes is a tough game i've looked yeah. into it like it's it's like you know like if you buy a t-shirt like you got small medium large extra large double xl and triple xl for those big people mm. but like you know shoes is like Six, seven, yeah, eight, 100%. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. thirteen, fourteen. Like it's just like that's a lot. It's of not stock. like you know, like if you if you if you wear a medium, you can wear like a large and extra large as a baggy fit. Like if a shoe, you can't wear a small shoe and you can't wear a big shoe. Like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. what it's like. Shorts, man. Shorts are a tough game as well because like people have big legs, people have short legs, people have like it's just tough. So like actually, uh, I got a pair of your. Um uh, trackies, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trackies. Oh, those trackies yeah, are game changer. Yeah, yeah. I love those trackies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, so I'll do pants yeah. and everything. But I, I'm not going to do shoes. Um, I want to get into yeah more. Um, I might do overalls. Overalls is my new thing. Yeah, you love your overalls, dude. Yeah, they're comfy. Have you that. wear that, bro? Nah. Like, bro, you, I don't know once, if I can pull off an overall. Bro, when you put it on, you'll be like, I ain't ever wearing no. <laughs> I ain't ever wearing a belt again. <laughs> so, like, what? What's the idea? Because I never really got the concept of an overall. Like, is it just just the look of it because like I have no idea man it's yeah. comfy that's all I know yeah. it's comfy <laughs> as oh okay well there you go it's it comfy so it's just yeah, a comfy yeah, thing yeah, yeah. so um yeah no um it's gone really well like the label is amazing so um trying to juggle that with music and touring is, is a little bit hard but yeah. um, it's getting there so do you have any uh, last questions that you got oh, for me? I, th- I think I'm good. You're almost yeah, rattled, I think you're almost rattled than me. Yeah, really damn I could talk sweet. forever like this yeah <laughs> yeah um, I never get to talk like this so. Area 51. <laughs> Are you going? <laughs> they can't stop us all. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like... Oh, that's so have thing. you seen how they have planned to attack it? Yeah. So wait, oh, okay. man. But like, dude, they're, they're planning it online so they can see. Yeah. And then like, this is this is my thing. I'm going to say it because I get to actually say it to everyone now. Mm. It's like... <laughs> Any alien in there now, they're going to remove them because they're going to be like, everyone's coming in September, That's so right. let's just get rid of everything now. So they're going to storm Area 51. There's oh, going to be nothing, nothing there. there. So because September. Area 51 is where everyone knows, but there's probably like an Area 52. There. Yeah, oh, like that. That's exactly that what one of my, my mates said to me. He's like, man, if you really think that they're that dumb that they're watching this going, oh my God, they're going to come. They're coming. They're let's coming. Just, let's just let's wait just here wait and do here. nothing. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, they're, they're gone. Dude, they're Area 51 gone. will probably be gone by the time. Yeah. Yeah. They'll probably be like, dude, we'll do it for you. We'll storm it ourselves. I... I just kept on seeing memes about it, so I actually didn't know that. that they're yeah, like no, sending no, no, no. suicide runners up the middle and then <laughs> having people Dude, like... Dude, it's ridiculous. It is, like, it it's, is. Ridi- it's ridiculous, man. Like, it's and then they've got like... Yeah, I'm yeah, keen to see what's in there. Like, I'd love to see if there's aliens. I love aliens. Yeah, so, 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 so let's get this straight. This is not a troll. People actually... Dude, there's 420,000 people at the moment, like... A, Attending, attending I saw, or whatever. Yeah, I saw and then that. there's a, like a, a but you know what that's like you know like it's like a club night 2,000 people attending 10 people rock up so yeah. like 420,000 maybe like 50 people rock but up out of, <laughs> out of all those people you gotta you gotta think like some but people that, are gonna I mean. rock up like 420 then maybe you'll get like 8,000 people that's a lot of that's people still, that's still a few people that, but like so look dude if there's a minigun like that <laughs> that, that flies <laughs> that flies 3,000 rounds per minute like you're that's gone. that's eight thousand people yeah, guarded. That's like, one, that's one, one half minute. All the suicide runners done. They just <laughs> mow them down like yeah, real did. quick. Can you imagine if they live stream that and like that actually happened? Like that would be so scary. Yeah, because they're gonna live stream it. That would be. I saw some live stream come up and it was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, we're just talking about Area Fifty One, right? Now. <laughs> yeah, but I saw some live stream come up and I think they must have been like a couple of miles out and they're like zooming in there and the guys. <laughs> This this is where we're coming through. Like he's whispering, like this is where we're coming. Yeah, because they, they they're probably hearing from miles yeah. away. And, and, and then they're like, he's like, yeah. And then we're gonna like get another team. And they're like, he's like, oh, did you see that movement? Did you guys did you guys see that? Like, it's like no. <laughs> it's called wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a spin effect, just like uh, right across. Oh well, good on them. But like, <laughs> so is there anything coming up in the the back half of the year that you've got? The back, <laughs> the back half. The back half. The old back half. The old back half. <laughs> no, no. In the, ne- in the next couple of months, is there anything coming up, man? Um, yeah. So I got another tour getting locked in at the moment. So I'm super, super stoked about that. Uh, still locking in a few things. And then um, I've got a few music releases coming out. So a um, few collaborations. Um, one of them, I can tell you one of them. It's with Jordan Burns. Um, it sounds epic. AC Slate is actually supported on his Diplom Friends mix. So yeah, I'm to listen to that and hear it. Mm-hmm. But um, Crazy. yeah, yeah, dude, it was 
so random but so wild so we're just trying to find a home for that um and then a few other collabs that we're just trying to find homes for and just locking in a few things which is awesome um and then yeah just apart from that just discussing a few more things with like uh Hugh my manager and Alex who does bookings um on just like where we want to go what the next plan is and everything but yeah the, the second half of the year is looking really good like just basically Crazy. uh and obviously more another order yep. merch is coming yep so. yep Man. so in um probably probably say probably around september october there'll probably be some new another autumn stuff dropping and then you're um, a busy man, man and then in between mm. all that work and my day job yep. working th- a couple <laughs> days a week um uh, doing graphic design so it's yeah. awesome but like i literally don't feel like i'm working like some days i wake up I'm like am i actually not doing this right because mm. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, you know it's epic so it's a good good ha- second half of the year i'm super stoked and um Super excited. Awesome. So, yeah. Man, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Yeah. No, thank, thank you. you for letting me be a part of the, the first one. You are yeah, the I, I am first. the one. Yeah, the Number one. Number one, the baby. What's one. up? Number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. This is this is really cool. Like, I, I'm so glad I got to talk about a lot of things with nah, you. And, um, you know, do this thing with my boys. The team. <laughs> the boys. The boys. <laughs> Sweet. And, uh, Sweet. Awesome. We'll see you thank guys you. soon. Later. See you later. Peace. Yeah, where were we? Where, where, where were we looking? Look at, see you're here. Like, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Oh, yeah, actually, we should have like this one up here.